Many things happen in society today that appear to kill the essence of our man spirit, especially black men. Many black young men are raised today to know that they are inferior to their female counterparts. There is a large constituency of black men that only listen to white men, black women, media figures, and people that they perceive as being rich. But overall, no one seems to listen to the everyday black man. But what about the black man that's hardworking, a family man, and a man of character? The high-spirited alpha male type with lots of discernment. What about him? President Obama is now on the campaign trail getting on black men for not supporting Kamala Harris, thus implying that black men should support her solely because she's black. Now, if you think that's right, just open up a black business in your black community and see how much black support you get. And you will find out the hard way that over 65% of the support that you do get will be from black males. Many black men say that Obama never did anything for black people. And many of them can name the many things that he supposedly did for other groups. And if something was done for black people, it wasn't done for black men. It was done for our female counterparts. The black male is the most ostracized, dehumanized, disenfranchised, and penalized person in America. We have our very own subculture, especially the ones that have not been deprived of their man spirit. As President Obama pulls out the big guns to bolster support for his Democratic cohort, Kamala Harris, he doesn't understand the perception. And the perception is, is that he is a major part of the problem as well. This particular group of black men do not trust that Kamala Harris will validate, respect, and honor their man spirit by doing something for them. Yes, this black male is a subculture and we want something done specifically with us in mind. Not a handout, but a helping hand. And President Trump has extended that hand by not treating black males like an afterthought. So when Obama comes out and gets on us without a viable plan for us, it seems like an insult. With Trump, a lot of black men felt more financially well off from the hood up. Just like with a lot of black men, Trump is not good with political double talk. When he says it, it's out there. Trump has been seen or talked about in rap music more than any white man in history. He has had two attempts on his life and is still out there fighting. And when you consider his federal convictions, it seems like the American judicial system has treated him like a black man. He has promised jobs and opportunity directly to the black male, and he has strongly supported our black historical colleges. And lastly, it's something about Trump's man spirit that appeals to black men. 